like a mafia boss, Luke Skywalker orders a hit on Han Solo. Thanks for joining us, YouTuber. Today, we're talking about a Star Wars theory. Take a minute. Subscribe to my channel right now so you can see more videos like this and other movie reviews and whatever else I happen to be talking about at the time. Also, don't forget to click that bell so that you can get not only get the videos, but be notified when they're published. All right, so let's dive into this. When the Force Awakens came out, one of the most earth-shattering things that actually happened was that Harrison Ford finally got what he wanted and his character was killed off. Maybe? That's a whole nother video altogether. Anyways, so as I stated, um, well, I had said that Luke Skywalker ordered a hit on Han Solo, which kind of maybe happened. More of what I'm thinking actually happened is, is that in actuality, Kylo Ren isn't a bad guy. In fact, he's a good guy, a double agent, if you will. I'm postulating that Kylo Ren is a good guy and he's a double agent acting on Luke's behalf to get in with and ultimately destroy and overthrow Snoke. All right, so let's get into the meat of this. So why do I believe that Kylo Ren is actually a double agent? Well, first off, one of the evidence I'll support is this. When he kills off Han Solo, presumably to fully embrace the dark side, he doesn't get the Sith eyes. The reason this hasn't happened, and in fact, if we look at the book's iteration, it talks about how it actually makes him weaker rather than stronger, is because his heart wasn't actually in it. He was doing it because it's what needed to be done and not because it's what he actually wanted to do. In fact, for, if we take this another note, the fact that he tells Han that it's tearing him apart and he knows what he has to do, but he needs help. The fact that Han says anything, it's that from, from a point of view where he's being a villain, he wants to kill Han Solo because it's the one last good thing about him. And the fact of the matter that, that Han Solo allows him to do it actually negates the fact, it, it wipes it out. What I mean by this is, is that, that if he was a bad guy, Han Solo allowing him to do it makes him a good guy. Essentially what I'm getting at here is, is that had he just shot Han Solo in cold blood, he'd had opportunities to do it in other times or just murdered him straight up, then I would have bought it that he's a full up straight evil guy. But the fact is that he begged his father for help and his father allowed him to do it. So it was that unconditional love that he understood. Maybe Han Solo didn't understand exactly what was going to happen, but I mean, he had to know that he had murder, <laughs> murder in mind walking out onto that catwalk. And so in accepting his own fate and allowing Kylo Ren to do it demonstrated uh, unconditional love, a parent's love. The idea that any parent would sacrifice themselves for their child. And in that act, it made it impossible for Kylo to embrace the dark side in that way. But that aside, and that's only if he was a villain, but this is the, if he was a good guy, a double agent, this was just Han Solo allowing him to kill him so that he could fulfill his goal. It was the bigger picture here. And you say, oh no, say good guys don't kill other good guys. Well, that's not true. In Star Wars Rogue One, we saw Cassian murder another rebel just to make sure that he could finish his mission. See, the resistance, in, even before the Empire fell, sometimes had to do bad things to get the, make sure that the greater good succeeded. As a Jedi, and from a Jedi's point of view, he would have saw this as his personal feelings for his father were far less important than getting closer to Snoke and overthrowing them. I believe that when the Knights of Ren were rising, we're going to find out that Luke uh, tasked the one person he could trust above anybody else, Ben Solo, to seek out and try and infiltrate the group. This spun out of control and we saw this sort of the departed sort of situation where we have a good guy who's being twisted by the dark side so that he could do his own means. Now, I'm sure that Snoke is well aware of all of this. And although he said, bring Solo to me, like bring Kylo Ren to me, 
at the end of Force Awakens, I'm sure that on some level, even now, he's not going to trust Kylo Ren. In fact, the whole Darksiders way is very much selfish and they never really trust anybody and that's part of what makes them fail all the time is, is that they don't rely on a mass network of people and they don't believe in others, they only believe in their own power and the best way to preserve that power is to keep it to themselves. So, in a roundabout way, this is why I think that Luke Skywalker inadvertently ordered the hit on Han Solo. I believe that way back in the day when he tasked Ben Solo to go and seek out Snoke and to infiltrate and overthrow him, that he couldn't foresee how far it was going to go. And I feel like once the Jedi, new Jedi Order was overthrown, Ben Solo's best bet at making a difference was to go along with things and then make sure that everybody's sacrifice wasn't for naught. And so this tipping point where he kills Han Solo is when he, when he really, really has to commit. It's the first time he's really actually tested in his resolve at overthrowing Snoke. What do you think? Do you think Kylo Ren's a redeemable character? Do you think he's a good guy? Do you think he's a bad guy? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. This has been a video about woo, Kylo Ren being a good guy. Subscribe over here. Here's another video you might like. Here's another video you might be interested in. And here's a playlist of other Star Wars um, videos I've made so far. See you next time.